All right, let's try, let's try, let's try this again. Alright. So now we're back. I think we're in the right we're in the right we got everything good, everything situated, good. In the top left hand corner, Ovalrena, we have the red Zerg. It is all in Sfizbin. Down here in the bottom of Arena, we have the blue Protoss, one Mr. Pikachu. Alright, Fizzin going a little gas pool build here off of I I swear to god there's I say this every time we cast but I'm like I gotta look at what the fucking build is. Because I never I never do it. I still am not used to it. Not thinking about like hey things can be happening immediately. And you with like uh all in Zergs things do happen usually immediately. That is a forge. That's a forge and that is a pylon at the natural. Mm. So I think we know what's coming. Yep there, we definitely know pilot. what's coming. So, does the fact that he's one basing just straight up mean that this just doesn't work? Um, that... in theory, if he makes, oh, uh, but he made two drones instead of the two, mm. uh, and two sets of, yeah, instead of two sets yeah. of wings. If he said made two sets of wings, up, no, no cannons getting up. But yeah. he made two drones here, so this might actually lock him in there for a while. But here comes the Overlord, so he's gonna see right about now. Let's see what his reaction is. His reaction is... Speed, chill. Make a couple links. I mean, I guess... <laughs> the gateway. Well, this is pro this is Legacy of the Void. Yeah, you had to put a gateway down. Of course. <laughs> Alright, well, Fizz is going to be locked in here for a little bit now, so we'll see how he, <laughs> what, what his uh, next reaction is. <laughs> um, the Queen's going to come up, Speed's going to finish. He, gets, he goes back on gas, so I'm going to assume probably some either Baneling or Roach to bust out of here. Okay. Um, I've seen bailing sort of work, but if the pros is good, they like they force field, uh, force field. they target fire the bailings to yeah. stop it from hitting. How, if he made a let's say a bunch of lings with speed and just ran past the cannons, is that possible? That's yeah, possible. You're gonna lose a lot to the cannons. Um, yeah, because there's nothing at home to defend, right? Yeah, that's what I'm just, like. With, if he didn't have speed, I think it'd be totally suicide. But if he has speed, I feel like he makes say 15 lings, he loses a bunch. Yeah. Runs past and then just. Wins. Yeah, but then there's always that risk, right? If you run into this other side of the map and this Protoss decided, hey, what if he does that and puts cannon as ramp, then you're kind of stuck in limbo with a bunch of lanes doing nothing. Yeah, that's true. And you lost one running down. So there's there's the Evo Chamber. Is this gonna be dropped? Maybe. Possibly? Makes sense, but the, the air distance on this map it does make some yeah. sense. Uh, we're seeing the Protoss now start to transition out, uh, putting down an Nexus and taking gas. Uh, I mean, he's still. Pretty long away from having any real tech, but all right. Give me a couple spine claws. They're not gonna reach the, the proton cannons, but I wonder if he's gonna like make these and run down the ramp, put them and plant them really quick, and see if he can bust out that way. That is a option. Yeah, I feel he's like a lot of free shots. Though it looks like we're at a point where Pikachu is. I mean, he's content with this being his contain, and that's it. Yeah. Um. So I, would, I feel like uh, with that Fizbin is going to need to recognize that and understand how much to commit to defeating this. Because mm -hmm. I know one of the big issues that Protoss is often have, because if you look at it, Pikachu's up now uh, significantly in workers. Yeah. Oh, uh, there's the two drop overlords. He doesn't have speed. Oh, he's getting speed after his queen. Okay. So he's going to sit here and wait on his one base. He, The Protoss obviously can't get out the ramp. There's three spine crawlers. But he's yeah. going to wait for speed and probably go across them now with a bunch of things and see if he can do some damage there. Like right now he could. There's not even I mean, a gateway yeah. on the other side of the map. Yeah, 14 links put... I mean, there's no way that's ever dying. Um, no Mothership Core yet. Um, has not been started yet. He does have a Cyber Core, though. Which is going to be very big. Uh, it brings the um, Queen as long, too. Because the difference between Photon Overcharge and not Photon Overcharge with it in defending this is just, you know... Yeah, oh, and, a, and a third base. So, Actually, then again, there's only one pylon in the main, and none around the natural, so yeah. even if he does have a mothership core, it's going to be very hard. And uh, uh, the overloads start their slow journey without speed? <laughs> well, speed's finishing in speed's about finishing, yeah, yeah, 10 speed's seconds, finishing. so... Uh, what's the tech choice here or for a Pikachu? Uh, nothing. Not made one yet. Just, just, just expand. Taking just expand a third. And I mean, I guess from his perspective, if he gets this third up and saturated, there's no way that Fizzbin can come back on one base. Yeah. 
but little <laughs> he does loses he the know, base. I've got two. Whatever. You know, little does he know this is about to happen, and there is nothing on this side of the map yeah. to defend against this. Oh, there he's sorry. Right, so he's making a border. Where'd that stargate come from? Oh, the stargate. It's double, double stargate over there. Okay. Oh, well, that's interesting. This is the part is he did send a queen over, so he's got like half the. Okay, he's he's making queens at home, so he'll have some anti-air for this. I actually think revealing this phoenix may have been a mistake, because like if he shows up with two void rays and uh, Fizzbin is totally unprepared for it, he has no way to kill the void rays. The void rays just kill him. Yeah. But by making this phoenix, he's making it overlord. He's making some extra queens. I feel like that that phoenix may have been um, a little bit too much. So. Um, yeah. Ling's totally ransacking his main. Cybercore is going to go down. Also, we got a game. He's, he's clearing out these two bases. There's nothing at home to defend. And there's only one Phoenix. I kind of wish he had actually brought a drone with him with this push. Make a hatchery? Yeah. I'm like, he's going to ransack the, all of these probes. Probe count's going down to two. He's got two probes. I think one's on the other side of the map. Yeah, one's on the other side of the map. Sending another overlord out. He does have 600 minerals, so he can make a nexus if necessary. Get the, get the probe! There we go, okay. There is now officially one probe left on the map, and it's on the other side of the map. Over here. So I think at some point Pikachu is going to try and take this this natural. He has to, right? Is he yeah. blocked? Can he? Is he, he blocked? I don't know if he's blocked. That pylon might actually be blocked. <laughs> he might have to kill the pylon. Which would be pretty funny. This Nexus is going to go down. This Voidery is not going to kill these flings very fast. Hey, he always got enough if, if this, this probe on the other side of the map makes, decides to make a, hat, a Nexus. He's got enough money for it. Yes. But there are now two spoiler crawlers in the main as well as a queen. Uh, I like that actually Fizzin went back and picked up another queen to come over and uh, fight off this, these Voidrays. Yeah. The slow if queen fight. If uh, Pikachu had all of his Void Rays together, I do actually think that he would be able to win this pretty uh, decisively against Void Rays, but... Yeah. Uh, Pikachu GG's. Up, and there's the GG. Yeah. Oh. And the happy oh, it's, face. it's a happy face. At least he's happy about it. It's good. Well, when you know you lose a cannon rush. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so, it's a good game. The, the Ling Drop, good counter to uh, not having a natural. Yeah, I like, uh, I like Fizzbin's uh, chaos management there. Yeah. Definitely. Oh, you think it's chaos management, or he actually just decided, I'm gonna do well, this. I don't know about chaos management, but at least the like something crazy's happening. I'm gonna do something that makes sense. Yeah, yeah. But like, I wonder, I, if, I wonder if that's what his plan was from the beginning, beginning right? It's possible. I want to do one base ling queen drop. Who knows? Yeah, very possible. Yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, 